<laughs> no, no, the angle's fine as long as it's recording now, it's okay. Hey everyone. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at... <laughs> well, here's the deal. The Army Painter Wet Palette. Hi, I'm Phil the Glacial Geek. I've been using it for about a week now and I'm pretty impressed with the results. It does what I expect a wet palette to do. I gotta admit that I'm pretty impressed with this product. Uh, to be honest, I'd never used a wet palette before. A lot of people said, <clears throat> you have to use it. It really changes the way you paint, uh, the way your hobbying goes. So to be honest with you, I don't super use wet palettes for a lot of my projects because I'm always moving around and I'm a kind of a low maintenance kind of person. And honestly, from the second I started using it, uh, I was just blown away at how much it changed. It was a game changer for me. The Army Paint or Wet Palette has really, really helped me change my technique of painting uh, and has very much helped me improve the detail on models that I'm actually able to achieve. I don't like to maintain the water supplies and is this smelly? I don't know, you know, all these different things out there. But what I really like about this is it seems to be very, very low, as about as low maintenance as they come. The paint I just poured stayed in the wet palette overnight and the next day I got access to it again and it was good to go, ready to use. And that just blew my mind away because I'm used to like tray pouring paint into my palette and then going off to have some dinner and it just being a plastic mess that I can't use anymore. For me personally, I used to paint straight out of the pot uh, and a lot of the paints were going very, very thickly. This really, really was a big thing for me to change uh, and be able to actually paint in a different technique. And I feel that it definitely improved my painting quality. A wet palette is something that will change your painting overnight and um, the second you start using it you can get more consistent paints your paints will last longer because instead of drying on a palette um, they'll stay wet on the palette and then they'll dry on your model so a little bit of paint will go a long way and i love this thing it is a great quality wet palette it has a place to keep your brushes if you travel with your brushes that are separate from the paint area it seals very well. I have left it for two weeks and the paint was still uh, pliable in there and recoverable. And I can say from firsthand experience from the last few paint projects I've used it on, it was by and far the best wet palette that I have used hands down. I've been using wet palettes for years now. It's really hard to go back to the time before I use them. Just being able to keep your paints workable for longer and not having to constantly waste paints because they're drying up faster than you can use them. And it's just a great, piece of uh, painting equipment that I really couldn't live without anymore. If this is your first wet palette and you've never used a wet palette before and you can't be bothered to do the DIY option or you just want to get it right first time or you can't be bothered with the whole cutting paper every time, this is an absolute bargain. Um, it, it does the job. At the end of the day, it's a wet palette. It, it's a really simple piece of kit. You've got a absorbent layer, then you've got a semi-permeable layer where ideally paint sort of doesn't seep through that way, but water will seep through this way, and it keeps your paint wet. Um, it took me a little while to learn how to use a wet palette, uh, but being able to actually control the paint on your brush a lot more, uh, and being able to actually control the flow of the paint because it's still damp across the models means that you can really, really increase the detail uh, that you're actually applying with a brush, as well as improving the blend between different shades uh, of paint as well. I think that it's almost the perfect size because it's not too big, not too small. It's nice and thin, and you can put that strap around it and then throw it in your bag and take it with you on the road. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that it's a very robust, uh, plastic constructed body here. It's not, It's it seems to be designed better than some of the other ones on the market today. It's, it seems very durable. It's actually loaded with water right now, as a matter of fact, and it's not leaking all over me. So they may also be actual wizards as well. If I'm in the middle of a painting set, I know that I can just kind of close the lid, go grab a drink when I come back. All I need to do is take that lid off and I can use that paint straight away. I don't have to take more out of the pot and waste time doing so. Uh, the paper itself is very strong and very resilient. It's not like this parchment paper that you know you see me use in the past. 
uh, it's a more robust product. The sponge seems more robust. This whole thing seems very well thought out and very well engineered uh, from a perspective of the consumer, but also a previous retailer as well. Another great feature is this tray insert. You can put some brushes and some other stuff in there and then close it all up and keep it safe. But probably the biggest draw of using an Army Painter wet pipe is the fact that it has everything that I want from a wet pipe, but also it's it's really nice and portable. It's It's got a good size. I can easily slip this in a backpack. I can take it with me wherever I go, and I can be doing painting wherever I need to. But not only that, it also has a little insert tray as well, so I can keep everything together and keep my paintbrushes in there, and I'm just stick that on my bag. All I need is a cup of water and a few paints, and I'm good to go. I can paint anywhere. When you look at the price of it, uh, it's certainly competitive and it is possibly the best for its price wet palette on the market, if, if, if not the best wet palette on the market. The fact that you are going to be saving yourself time and money with paint is, is, is worth it. So I would absolutely recommend Army Paint as a wet palette uh, for everybody that is interested in painting. It's really enabled us to be able to improve our painting and really bring better quality models to the battle reports and videos that you see on the channel. If you're after a wet palette, this is an absolute steal. There's nothing wrong with it. It's directly comparable to the other retail options on the market and it's cheaper. For hobbyists who tend to cut corners because of laziness or whatever, as my case may have been, uh, you honestly can pour the paint right out of the bottle onto the wet palette and, and, and be able to get it to a point that it's going to be better usable than it would have been when you would have done that anyway on your plastic palette. Like, tray. If you're looking for a wet palette and you want the flexibility of being able to take your painting wherever you go, then the Army Painters wet palette really is a great choice. It's reasonably priced and does everything you need it to do. So it's something I will definitely be using in the future. And if you want to check one out, then I would highly recommend grabbing one yourself. I hope that you are able to get your hands on one and enjoy it as much as I do. Because, like I said, I couldn't imagine not having this now that I've had my hands on it. So I think for the price point and the availability and the route to market, I think it's going to be very tough to beat, to be quite honest. And it's a very good quality, and I can't say enough good things about this particular product right here. I would absolutely recommend that anybody who hasn't tried the Army Paint or Wet Palette uh, to give it a go. If you've used wet palettes before, I really like this one for the ease of being able to pack things away. Uh, and how secure and sturdy it is as well. If you're wanting something that's affordable, easy, saves you time, saves you paints, absolutely fine, nothing wrong with this. Great product. As as a wet palette noob, I think it's, it's blowing my mind, honestly, with the way I've been using it. So I'm super excited about it, super happy that the Arm Painter gave me the opportunity to try it out. And I really think that you should give it a try too.